In question two, they give us the downhill one where the acceleration in the x direction is going to be positive, so just be careful. Set up your a's maybe first. So, acceleration in the x direction, the angle at the horizontal, so it's going to be g sine beta, and in the y direction or the j direction, it's going to be minus g cos beta. The other way around to if it was on the horizontal. So we are just looking for our equations again. So our initial vector, u1 if you want to call it that, is going to be u cos a in the y direction plus u sine a in the j direction. Uh, so our displacement vectors are going to be u cos a in the x direction, u cos a times t plus a half a which is g sine b by t squared so we get u cos a t plus g sine b times t squared over 2 and the displacement in the y direction is going to be u sine a a not b u sine a times t plus a half acceleration minus g cos b times t squared which is u sine a times t minus g cos b times t squared over 2 and they also want the velocities in these first three questions in this chapter v of x u plus a t u cos a plus acceleration times t so plus g sine b times t and the velocity in the y direction is going to be u sine a minus or plus the acceleration which is minus g cos b times t